Hi everyone, I'll show how you can boot the Kali Linux Live ISO using Grub. It's great if you don't want to carry a USB drive, but still want to have it conveniently available. For example, having it on your laptop whenever you are out and about and need to load up Kali to do some work or pen testing. I'm currently running Ubuntu, but this will work with other distributions as the changes are done in Grub, the bootloader. So this is how my Grub boot menu looks like. And I have Ubuntu and I'm also as well as dual booting with Windows. And so when I'm done, there's going to be a Kali Linux live entry. So to get started, I'm going to download the image, the Kali Linux live ISO, I'm going to www.kali.org and then download and then scroll down. And I'm looking for the live boot image and I'm running x86-64 and I'll download the recommended download and once downloaded go into your folder so here's my image and i'm going to need a few pieces of information to put into the grub configuration so the first is the full path of the image so i'm going to open up a text editor and i'm going to get the full path So for me, it's going to be under the slash partition. So I'll need to know the partition number for it. So I'm going to open up a terminal. And I'm going to type in df-h. And so it's going to be under slash for me. Some people may have a slash home partition. And then you'll need to look for that. But for me, it's going to be dev sda5. So I'm going to put that down. And next, I'm going to get the file system for slash. And for me, it's ext4. But if you're not sure, you can go into terminal and then type in block id dev sda5. And looking at the type, you'll see it's ext4. So it's ext4. And lastly, I'll need to know for my disk here if I'm using MBR or GPD, so GUID partition table. And to do that, you can use fdisk. So I'm going to sudo fdisk-l, put in my password, and then scroll up. And we see here that the disk label is GPT. So I'm going to write that down as well. And going back to the terminal, now I'm going to add in a boot entry for the Kali Linux 5 ISO in Grub. So going into the Grub configuration directory, I'm doing an ls. And so we see all the files here. And then there's 40 underscore custom, 41 underscore custom. Or if you want, you can actually create your own separate file. For example, 50 underscore Kali. But for this video, I'm going to use the 40 underscore custom file. So I'm going to go into it. You can use, for example, VI or Nano. I'll use Nano. Now I'm going to add in the entry. So menu, entry. I'll call it Kali Linux Live and a new line and then and then load the module part GPT because we saw earlier I'm using GPT as seen in my notes here and then next I'm going to load the module ext2 and you'll see here that I have ext4 so why am I putting ext2 here so ext4 is an extension of ext2 ext3 but it has more features, for example, such as journaling. However, in this case, I don't need the advanced features. All I need to do is just be able to read this partition. So I'm just loading the ext2 module here and then set root equals and then the disk. So in my case, I only have one disk, so it'll be hd0. And if you have multiple disks and you're not sure, you can check the existing grub configuration file, which I'll show afterwards. And then next, the partition. So it's GPT, and then it was number five. As we saw here, SDA five, so it's gonna be number five. And then next, I'm gonna create a variable to store the location of the ISO file. So I'll call it file equals, and then here's the full path.
and then I'm going to set it as a loopback. So then they'll map the ISO, HD0, GPT5, and then the file variable. And then next I'm going to define the location of the Linux kernel. Oop, and then it'll be live VM minus boot equals live, find ISO, and then the variable file. And then lastly is the initial RAM disk. So it'll be at loop and then live and then in it rd.img and then closing brace. And so these two files here under the live directory and you can always confirm by going into the image itself, open with disk image mounter and going into it and going to live and then we see here the image and also as well as initial RAM disk. So going back into my terminal. And then now I'm going to exit, control X, save, yes. And a file name to write, 40 underscore custom, enter. And now I'm going to make a new grub configuration file using grub make config. And then the output will be to boot grub and then grub.cfg. All right, and we see here that it generated the grub configuration file and there are no errors, so that's good. And so getting back, if, for example, you have multiple disks and you want to see which one it would be. So in my case, it was HD0. So you can check the existing grub configuration file. So I'll do a more on it. Oh, let me sudo for that. I'm just going to scroll down. And so, for example, we see the grub menu entry for Ubuntu and set the root is HD0. So in this case, this is one way that you can use just to check. And I'm going to hit Q to get out. And now I'm going to reboot my computer. All right. And we see my grub menu here. There's Ubuntu. And at the bottom, there's Kali Linux Live. I'm going to go into it. All right. So it's booted into Kali Linux Live. And so. I have all the usual applications, information gathering, vulnerability analysis, web application analysis, etc. And that's it. That's how you can boot the Kali Linux Live ISO using Grub. I hope this video was useful, and I thank you for watching. Bye now.